You've heard how PowerFX is going to be everywhere in Power Platform. Well, now you can create Dataverse columns that live update calculations based on other fields or even other tables. And Reva Singh is going to show us how. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Thomas on the PowerCat team, and I'm here today with Reva Singh, and we're going to talk about formula columns in Dataverse. Hey, Reva. Hi, Phil. So as you know, I'm excited about this topic because I've been chatting your ear off about it. But before we get into it, talk a little bit about how you got onto this team and your journey through Microsoft. Sure. So I'm with Microsoft for over five years. I started with team three and a half years back as a product manager. I joined Microsoft as a software engineer, and I have background in software engineering and product management for almost like eight years plus. And that's why you've done the magic you've done today. So talk yeah. about formula columns and Dataverse and how they allow us to use PowerFX for even more. Sure. So I'm going to showcase formula column, a next generation column in data wars. Formula columns empower citizen developer to express business logic on top of existing columns and reference column from other tables directly onto data wars. As calculations are done at the data wars level, results can be seen and used in all data wars endpoint, including power apps, power automate, power BI, and data wars APIs to just name a few. Does this mean that I never have to build another calculated column again? Please say so. Uh, absolutely. So yes. now you can run Excel-like functionality on top of Dataverse without going to write calculated fields in a different view. So we got to show us then. Let's see it. Absolutely. So what you see here on my screen is a sales table, which has got different articles, price per unit, quantity, and the order date. So what I'm going to show you is a way to actually add a formula column, which does a very simple calculation which is quantity times price to get the total price for the unit. So if I type total price, enter type formula, in here I can write quantity. And as you can see, it is powered by IntelliSense. So it's pretty smart. It knows what are you trying to type and what are you trying to do. It tells you what is there. For example, if I just stop right here, it will tell me that this column doesn't exist or name isn't valid. Mm -hmm. So I can actually type in price per unit and it does the autocomplete itself. Hit create. The total price, but when you have to refresh the table, but we are working towards it to get this um, in place, uh, refresh. So as you can see, the total price is calculated for all the different um, articles and Adventure Work Beverage, $318, $398, and, and so on and so forth. And so you're using really just the columns that are on this table, but you can refer to other tables too. Is that right? Absolutely. So now you can actually reference uh, columns uh, in different tables and you can actually uh, use lookup columns when you are able to reference other column in different table and then apply logic on top of that. Now, one of the things that I found frustrating in cal calculated columns is doing like date logic. So I assume you can use all of the PowerFX date functions here as well. So for example, if I, if I want to, you know, run a power automate or power workflow, which basically uh, operate on the order date. For example, if the order date is less than seven days and I want to place an order, so I will create a new column called place order, enter the type formula. And then as you as I start typing, it tells you the, the date expression that are available here. So I can actually use if else function to combined with date function. So now you can see, you can actually chain functions in together to actually work on top of your data. So what I'm going to do here is if date diff is working on the uh, order date and today, and then I, I want to do is less than equals seven, then just place the order. Otherwise do not place the order. So for simplicity, I have actually created a formula in place Oh, as you can see, uh, order place, order not place. So it actually is reading the order date, subtracting it from today's date, getting the output, comparing with value seven, and then running the next thing in place. So this is the beauty of formula columns. So that looks really powerful. How have you seen enterprises using this feature? Yeah. So enterprise use this feature when they want to write logic on top of data, like for validation, data manipulation, and want to achieve data governance. 
So it helps them achieve data integrity across their system and applications. But with PowerFX support at the dataverse level, now enterprise don't have to write complex logic at the client level. It now supports decimal, currency, Boolean, lookup, and limited date time functionality with many more to come. On top of it, formula column support lookup features that links one table to other, using which you can now get values and then apply logic on top of data and reference table and, and, and so much more that you can show the results in real time. So I can create relationships with these columns as well? Absolutely. So you can actually refer to another column in the different table and then combine it with the uh, column in, in the existing table and then showcase the result. And do more calculations on top of them. Absolutely. What's planned? Where do you go from here? Yeah, so we have plans to support roll up custom logic like plugin and also natural language processing. Like once you can write uh, or, or write something like, oh, give me the longest day in, a, in the calendar or give me the last order date, something like that, that can actually be translated to a, to a function in itself. And you, you know, it is, it is empowering the users on citizen developers uh, so that they don't have to know coding at all. Uh, and, and they can actually work like you work in Excel. So then this, I noticed you were showing it in Dataverse for Teams. So this will right. eventually then go to full Dataverse? Absolutely. So we have plans to make it available in Dataverse Classic, which is Maker Portal, by the end of year or beginning of year. The date will come very soon. And so once this is Dataverse and once you can do roll-up fields and all that, do calculated columns and roll-up fields go away? No, not at present, but we are working hard to get the the feedback from the from the user and from the field and then we will drop and communicate a long-term migration plan for now formula column should be able to do everything and much more uh, yeah. in, a, in a very powerful platform consistent manner and so if someone is as excited about as me about this they want to go try it where do they go oh yeah so we have documentation link we have blog, blog post about it uh, so it's it's rolling out right now and deployed worldwide by 20th of october so, you know, we are ex excited so that you can try it out and give a feedback. There is a Power Apps community channel specifically for data words where you can give feedback to us. So it's all in the blog post. And I'll put the link to the blog in the docs in the description so people can click right from this video and go try it out. Yes. Reva, thanks for the time showing this. I'm excited about this feature and I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Phil.